Dr. Vekadan, you are a dermatologist and uh, that basically means you're, uh, you know, a skin doctor and do all kinds of things uh, with the skin, uh, making skins look pretty, the face uh, more firm and all that. So what about, uh, um, what about skin rashes? Uh, you know, uh, uh, dry skin, itchy skin. Um, where does that come from? How does it can get uh, handled and what are the effects of it? Is it, is it dangerous? Uh, something which we need to fix otherwise we get even more sick tell us about it sure well if if you remember skin is a very vital organ and the main function of being um, a barrier a protection a wall against infection so if the skin barrier is broken then we are more prone to get infections so when we get dry skin and if it gets very dry and get cracks in the skin, then the bacteria which is on everybody's skin has a better chance of entering and causing infection. Also, we'll be more prone to get viral infections such as warts. Uh, I think it's, it's an epidemic in America that people overwash and overuse and abuse soap. Um, and um, soap really is meant to clean dirt. To clean, it's not. Some people misunderstand that, and they they have dry skin. They they, they think that soap is going to help them. They use soap. Um, no, soap is meant to just clean and wash away dirt, and and, and it's, it's it's not a, a treatment for dry skin. It makes it worse. It's best to minimize use of soap, um, especially in the winter when it's 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 cold and dry. Uh, because that's going to make it much worse. For example, my myself, in the winter, I don't use soap on my thighs because my thighs get very dry. Uh, so I, I don't use it. Maybe once a week I use that. Uh, it's important to lubricate the skin um, uh, to... to um, to help it, you know, to get a little dryness and scaliness, and it's not only aesthetically looking better, but it's also healthier, and, and you feel better if if, uh, if your skin is intact. Uh, if you don't. How have should we lubricate it? What uh, what are some of the the, the creams, uh, some uh, lotions we should use, or which are some of the ones we should stay away from, where we think they're good but they're not? Well, there are a number of factors to consider. First of all, different creams work differently and are meant for different parts of the body. Uh, there are lotions that can be used, creams can be used for the face. And um, I, I usually tell patients, look, there are a bunch of creams. I give you names and, you know, I have samples. I give you the samples. You try them out. You see what agrees with you. You can use that. Um, I do caution people who have acne, for example, that using... A moisturizer is going to clog up your pores and is going to make your acne worse. So you need to get a moisturizer that doesn't do that. And we've been able to identify a couple of moisturizers that, uh, that are ideal for people with acne, and we make it available to our office uh, for that purpose. Uh, people tend to have dry hands, crack dry hands, and especially people in, 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 the, in the medical profession, doctors, nurses, and the dentists, who tend to wash hands so many times a day, uh, they, they're very prone to get this kind of problems. We have a special uh, protective moisturizers that we can suggest to them to help prevent uh, the, the problem. And for the body, um, there are so many other moisturizers that can be used. It's just a matter of using it, you know, and trying it out and see what, what agrees with you. Um, I do tell people that, uh, especially people who have eczema, that if you take a shower, uh, you don't rub the towel hard on your skin. Just tap dry, and then right afterwards you can use some moisturizer. It works much better. There's going to be better absorption, and you get a better results. Okay. Um, Good. So basically, it. Basically, keep keep the skin moister with, with with lotions. Try which one agrees with you, uh, and, um, and 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 uh, and don't wash so often. Right. 
All right. Um, yeah, I'm very sure that because uh, you know we all think that if we don't shower down three times a day, we're not doing our job. But apparently, it's not necessarily true. So let me ask you, since you mentioned the word "not wash" so often, also, so what about um, you know the one hour um, soaking in a bathtub with whatever salt waters and with whatever type of thing? Uh, um, you know, good thing, not so good thing for the skin. No, there are times that we do suggest to, to soak the body in, 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 in water and we have uh, medication that we add to the water to, to help the skin. For example, for psoriasis, we have a special oil that can be added to the water and we advise the patient to soak in there for 15-20 minutes at night. Um, again, washing too much is not ideal, but there are times that you know soaking would, would be, you know, Beneficial. Mm, right. And let me ask you, is um, in terms of soap, most people, and you see it advertised on television, uh, you know, they use, well, very strong soaps um, with, 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 you know, strong deodorizers in it. And um, uh, then there are the soaps, um, whatever, the ivory soap or whatever the name brand is, which are rather, rather natural. And there are many, many other ones out there. And frankly, because I use most of those ones, uh, yeah, they you need to wash and scrub a little more often. Otherwise, you still might possibly be smell afterwards. So the real heavy deodorants work better uh, for that purpose of, um, so to say, getting sprinkly clean or whatever they call it. But do they uh, uh, are they more tanting on the skin? Are they are they drying the skin more than the more natural ones? Do you have any data on that? Yeah, sure they do. They do, and uh, for that reason, we advise patients to stay away from those and use uh, soaps that are much less irritating and uh, uh, softer on the skin. So, basically it's this. Yes, you might get rid of your dirt and you're smelling a little faster with, with some heavy chemical soaps through, but you're ruining your skin in the long run. That's right. Well, all right. Here you have it. Thank you very much, Dr. Katan.